when I was younger, it came across as being shy. I didn't really understand or know my own strengths, where I was strong. I've never been a good storyteller, for example. I've always, always admired storytellers. Storytellers are always the most captivating people in a social situation. However, in recent time, I've come to take a lot of confidence and a lot of strength from my ability and confidence to speak my truth and unabashedly speak my truth and unapologetically speak my truth. And the more I do it, the more I practice it, I am truly starting to believe what Jordan Peterson says in many ways when he says it's all we have. All we have is our truth. All we have is our honest thought. And all we can do in any given moment is divulge that honest thought. If we deviate from that in any capacity, then we are in many ways betraying ourselves. And an idea that I got from one of the greatest books I've ever read, which is called Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh, is that a betrayal of self is the worst kind of betrayal. Whether you betray another, betray, betraying another is bad enough, right? But betraying yourself is even worse than betraying another. So our truth is all we have. And as time's gone on and I've become more and more courageous, touching upon yesterday's video with the types of things I've been willing to talk about and the truths of my own which I've been willing to expose, I've come to realise how valuable that can be, especially to your fellow man. Because in the same way that you watching somebody bench press 180 kilos suddenly makes that weight real to you and somewhat desensitizes it to you. Same with a squat of 220 kilos. Any heavy weights that you've never list lifted, seeing somebody do it in front of your face makes it very real all of a sudden and very possible. And it completely changes your perspective on reality. And I believe the same can be said for being in the presence of somebody who's willing to speak their truth. You don't have to agree with them. And in many time, and in many situations, my truths don't, aren't the same as the people around me. But by me vocalising my truth with the confidence that I have and with the... You know, I'm, I, 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 was, I hesitated using that word, but like, nah, like... Let me stop trying to be fake humble and speak my shit. And with the wisdom that I have to understand that like, yo, I mean, no offense when I speak my truths. If I speak my truths about men, women, relationships, whatever in your presence, I do it from a place of look, bro. I, I mean, no offense. And I understand that your truths might be different from mine. But I also need you to understand that like, I'm just speaking this for me. Like this don't have to be real to you. Okay. And on top of that, if nothing else, let this be, how would I put it? Allow me to shine my light so bright that you realise shit. I can shine mine. And that makes for the best conversations. That makes for the best discussions. My closest friend is the person who I have easily the most heated discussions with. I don't get into heated discussions with anybody really besides my closest friend. And... In many ways, I think that's because partly the fact that we both have that similar certainty in our truths and we both have an innate trust in the other that like, no matter what I speak, I ain't going to break you. Oh, I'm kind of going off topic here and I've kind of lost my train of thought. I ain't even going to sit here and lie. This is a, this is a bit. I think this is a bit too complex of an idea to, for me to be discussing without any sort of notes, which is something I do need to practice. But it's something I feel passionate about. And it's, uh, this has been triggered by an amazing conversation um, that I just had with a group of friends at the gym. Um, people who I genuinely couldn't speak highly enough of. Um, and I realised when observing the situation how certain things I could say could definitely offend people. And whilst I know they weren't offended because like, I, I know that they, in many ways, are strong enough in their own truths and in their own certainties to, to hear what I have to say, accept it for just simply somebody else's truth. It's not, it doesn't always have to be a battle. You don't always have to make somebody see your point of view. It, like, 
it's we, we, we don't have to live in war 24 7 we can disagree with one another yet expressing our ideas and our beliefs to one another and i feel like they make for the most beautiful conversations the most beautiful interactions and most certainly the most potent ones that in truth i don't believe enough young men in this generation experience like because these conversations are filled with with honesty about uh, past situations and emotions and feelings uh, which are things that are seldom really discussed among groups of young men um but anyway i'll do this topic way more justice in due course this this will pop up again it's something i'm extremely passionate about um, it's a lot easier to definitely discuss this with people or off the spot like the the conversation we just had would have made for an amazing podcast but it is what it is um if you made it this far thank you very very much i've rambled on towards the end i hope i made some sort of impact and in some capacity could push you combining yesterday's com- the yesterday's video with today's video like i like to think that this could be my ego talking but honestly like this is me being as humble as i can fucking be if I influence just one person, even if it's somebody that I know, low-key, that would be even better because that benefits me indirectly. <laughs> but if I influence somebody that I know to be that little bit more courageous and be that little bit more willing to shine their light, because that's a term that I'm connecting with a lot right now at the moment, because I feel like it's important for us to shine our lights because by shining your light, you give me permission to shine mine, bro. So shine, shine, brother, shine. The more you shine, the more I can. And the more I shine, the more you can. Um, So, yeah, if you made it as far, thank you very, very much. I appreciate you more than you can imagine. Thank you. And I shall see you tomorrow.